What's up everyone? Welcome back to a new video. Uh, as you saw in last week's video, we got the hatch all five lugs swapped. Um, I have some tires coming on the way for the wheels that I'm putting on this car. So hopefully those will be here next week and we can get this thing actually looking somewhat proper with the jank paint job that it has on. Um, but today, we're making the video that I've long overdue wanted to make, but we've been waiting for stuff to uh, um. So I've been wanting to make this video for a long time. It is well overdue, but we are finally revealing the engine that is going in the S13 hatch. So without further ado, I introduce you to my first SR20 DET that is going to be going into the drift car. gonna be sr s13 hatch See, brothers this this works out fantastic for the both of us but it works out better for me because now i have evo with tyler and we can spare parts and i got a 240 <laughs> with matt we can switch parts it's great yeah, exactly <laughs> so this is it it's pretty stock it's got a tubular isr manifold a extended pan um and then some fancy dancy pulleys that are red that I don't really like, but we're gonna run them. So um, today I got a gasket kit. So I got a gasket kit that um, just gonna go through the whole thing, regasket it, everything. Uh, I gotta pull the pan down because the rear cage for the rear main seal is leaking. So that's what we're gonna do today. Um, and then hopefully get this thing like close pretty much almost all the way done so we can put it in the car. I have basically all of the parts for the car to get it back together. I'm waiting on two things that are kind of going to slow the process down a little bit, but we have a month, so hopefully we can, you know, get it going and get this thing running and make it by May. You, you think you have all the parts, dude? Look at the fucking shelf. <laughs> yeah, so um, that like second shelf <laughs> is all of my stuff, yes. I am very much so broke. I got about one and a half boxes. Matt's got like 30. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have no money. I don't know why I build cars, but you know, it's fun. So cool. they're fun. Yeah. You but make your money back later. Maybe. We'll see. So hopefully we, you know, this goes well. I just been having, haven't been talking about it. So <laughs> that's all I'm going to leave it at. So let's get this thing torn down, get it resealed, so we can put it in the car. So I bought this, what, like been six, six months ago-ish? And it's just kind of been sitting in the corner. Haven't really looked at it or anything. Um, just now found out that it's got head studs, uh, ARP head studs. So that's super cool. I was kind of worried about that, just, you know, just to be precautious and stuff, but... That's checked off the list, so that's super cool. And we're about to pull the pan down and see what the bottom side looks like. So maybe we'll find some more surprises. But so far, it's looking pretty good. Cam Angleson. Got the uh, bottom pan, put the bottom pan off and the uh, um, splash guard off. Um, that doesn't look 
too bad in there. You do have to take that off to get to these. Yeah, to get four the bolts. Uh, the lower pan down, or technically upper pan off. So. Pans on pans on pans. Got all that stuff to take off all those bolts. So that's yeah. what we're gonna do. Look at the crank. Is that for two? No, the fucking crank is fucking smacked. Yeah, something hit it for show. Well, never a good sign. Um, got the pan off. Looked at everything. Found a few things that I wasn't very stoked on. So, pulled the filter off. Now, I don't know if this filter was ever used or what. If it um, was just put on there. It looked like it had some oil in it. But, just want to cut it open to take a look. Um, there's a couple spots on the crank and on the block uh, surface itself that... Looked like something went through the engine and nicked up a few things. Uh, one other thing that we saw was the oil feed for the turbo. Looks like it has been broken off and then repaired. Um, so not entirely sure what the story with this engine was. The person I bought it from decided to go a different route I don't know if it was because they saw these same issues and then never told me or what but so I don't know what well, this filter will determine what we're gonna do um, just kind of sucks when you buy used shit you really never know what you're gonna get um, so yeah fun yeah. times on the bright side, if you never knew how to open up a oil filter, or that it was even a thing. Yeah. Sell them on Amazon. It's got a little blade here, and you just turn it in and spin it around like I was just doing. And then the filter comes out. And then you can take the filter out. And take a look. Huh. Is that a magnet? Yeah. That's not great. There's a decent amount of shit on there. Yeah. Big sad face. Big sad face. Yeah, that sucks. That's what you don't want to see. Do that again. I mean, it is the oil filter and... This gets the it brunt a, of your uh, debris, of but like that's a lot of oh, shit. Did you feel something sharp? No. So the next thing to do is to cut the element actually out of the filter and then inspect that. So we're going to do that. Fuck. Oh, dude. Don't even need to cut it open. Wow. Well, boys, I got fucked. So the last trick you can do is you can scrunch all that up and squeeze it together and let the oil drip out of it. 
And that's what it looks like. Not good at all. That is a lot of fucking metal. Holy shit. Yep. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. So I have no idea what the fuck I'm going to do, but right now that's just kind of where we're at. Um, I've kind of lost all motivation for this video. So yeah, maybe we'll see you next week. Oh, nice. So we decided to take a rod cap off just to see what bearing looks like. Um, and yeah, so we'll see here in a second. You want to hit the bolt? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, really man. Nose. That mm. sucks. Rip. A Rooney. Rip and tap my dead. Yep. She's fucked. And the upper one is just about the same. So. I'm having flashbacks to my engine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Same situation. Pull that, play that Big out. sad. Pull it back up.